I graduated from Ohio State, having moved away from my parents' Perry County farm. <laughs> so I'm, this is home, right? I worked in Zaysville. I worked at Mattingly Foods for three years, through, through the late 80s, okay? My career began and, and with, with the exception of Mattingly Foods, has been nothing but embedded systems, real-time systems, communication systems, okay? Um, that's 30 years. I graduated in 77, so it's 30 years plus a month and a half now, okay? And, and the, reason I, the reason I say that is because I'm not trying to be a Luddite here, okay? Every day, I center my life on the world of computing. My computing, my, my programs have run cockpit communication systems and general aviation aircraft in the 80s. Um, I was helping with Mattingly Foods in the late 80s. I then joined Bell Labs, where my code is now running in the long distance switching network on some of the higher performance systems there. Okay. I went from there to work in internet protocol security. After internet protocol security, I went back to the really small stuff and started building embedded systems, no larger than a couple of inches across, for providing communications between people's uh, computing and server infrastructure and remote devices. Okay? And between all that, <laughs> all kinds of other things, 30 years is a long time. So I don't come here as a person who's afraid of computing. I come rather as a person who understands where computing is useful and why. And part of what I want to describe here is why we're talking about this stuff in the, in the voting process. Okay? When we talk about an election, we want to see, we're looking at it as just a standard production process. You're producing something. In this case, it's information. You know, this many people voted for this candidate in this issue. This many people voted for that candidate or that issue, etc. Okay? It is a production process. Industry, manufacturing, and business has a lot of experience in knowing how to deal with these things. We use computers all the time for it. Okay? And the question has to be asked, why is it that all of the computer scientists in the universities that study this issue, almost all of the practicing computer software developers that study this issue, have the same answer. Direct recording electronic voting systems are a big mistake and a giant misapplication of a completely viable technology. Okay? I'm going to explain a little bit why that is. Because that's, that's what we want to do is connect this up. Okay? Now, we all know that we vote in private, but the vote should be counted in public, right? Any one of us should be able to stick a video camera directly over all the counters and watch the process take place. Okay? Here, I have how a direct electronic recording system works. You can't see the bits in here. Okay? So, Leonard the voter comes up and says, I want to vote for Ron Paul. Okay? I'm going to show you on my little, on, I, have, I brought my uh, little Pong Pilot here, which I'm going to claim is, is uh, very equivalent to a voting machine. It's a touch screen computer. Okay? Actually, it's more technology advanced than a voting machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. This is, this is a $400 version of exactly what a voting machine would be if it were done right. So you're right. I mean, I agree with you completely. <laughs> We're paying three grand for these machines. I know that I can go to, to, to uh, Office Max and pick one up for 400 bucks or less. Okay? So there are some questions here about cost and effectiveness. But what I want to talk about is how, how it is that we can audit our stuff. Okay? Now, when a person uses a computer, we don't know this as we look at it. But everybody who's ever written a letter or worked on a spreadsheet, or typed in some grades in school for the teachers. You type in your data, okay, and you run a print, and you say, okay, as a teacher, you know, I, I, there were four A's, three B's, and two C's. Oops, there's the F. But the question would be, you typed in the data, you got out your report, and you know what? You checked them out. We do that. We don't even think that we're doing that. But that is, in fact, an audit. The normal use of computing systems 
is regularly audited. You type a letter to your mother in Microsoft Word. You print it. You look at the results. You don't like the results. You toss it. Do it again. That is an audit. See what I'm saying? When we use a computer every day, whether it be in business, whether it be at home, whether it be surfing the internet, we're always looking at the results. Voting is one of those cases when you're doing it in a direct recording electronic system where you can't see your result. This is the first time in the history of computing with modular things like, you know, flying rockets and stuff like that. But this is the first time where people commonly don't have access to what it is that we ordinarily do. And we don't know that, right? The guys, the people running the election, boards of elections, they're normal folks, you know? If it weren't for the fact that they're working in the board of elections, they do whatever it is that they are. They're business people. Question. Sure. This, an this question that comes up is answered by, okay, the window over here shows you what you voted for. And so you know that the machine's doing what it does. Yes. But that's the end of it. And we don't know what happens after that. Let's talk about that because that's a very, that's an absolutely correct statement. Ohio is a rare state. Georgia is not. George is an example. We have voter verified paper audit trails. Our ESNS is the Lyman Franklin County. In the ESNS voting machines, I actually look, I vote, I watch my candidate selection and issue selection come up. I notice that. Okay? So the voter has verified it. Now, in 2005, House Bill 3 was a bill that introduced these changes to the election system. One of the aspects of it was that the Ohio Senate took out the audit restriction. Not only did they take it out, they've, made, they've set it up so that there is no legal requirement for an audit of those voter verified paper audit trails. What we see when we run our elections is nothing other than the electronic count that was delivered by the DRE machine. Okay? Legally. Legally. In HB, in the House Bill 3, it is the case that, that the paper is the legal record of the vote. If you study the law, you know, we've all done this. That's, that really is the legal record, right? But what gets reported, what gets counted, and what gets produced as a result after the canvas, you know, the official counting process a couple of weeks later, is from the electronic. It's not from that paper on the trail. And that rarely paper do they change who the winning candidate is. I'm sorry, what? It's very rare that the winning candidate after an audit is ever removed. So whoever they call as the winner generally stays the winner. Yeah, that's a very good point. It, it, it becomes a heavy weight to change. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have that audit trail. You know, a lot of states don't. So that's an important point. But we don't use it. But you're saying technically. If you wanted to challenge something, you could you could say, I want you to count the paper. Yes. Now, yes. with the paper, an important thing to know is those machines were not set up actually to have that paper audited. It's like rolling out a toilet paper roll. In the counties I've been in, most of them have come up with their own set of paddles or a wooden spool or something to put it on. And literally, it's like reading a roll of toilet paper. It is a very painful it's, process. It's like and it was not made to actually be audited. It was just to pacify that they wanted something on paper. The first time I voted on one of these here in Muskingum County, um, I couldn't read it as it was printing out. Right. Yeah, it also yeah. fast. It was, it was yeah. like, and, and there's like, a, the way the <laughs> window was done, it was like, it was like kind of like one of those Cracker Jack magnifying yes. glasses. Yeah, it's like and it was, yeah, it was like, well, good so, luck trying to read that. <laughs> so what we have, so what we have. Take a to camera do, with you. I will. <laughs> you know, what we, to, to get well, are you allowed to take a video camera in while you're doing it? Yes. You can record your own, but not anyone else's. Um, yeah, you yeah. know, these things work too, yeah. right? But to answer your questions, yes, there is, in fact, a paper trail. And yes, as Patty says, it's practically impossible to 